watch it. It'll be successful. And it shows how successful we've been, but this is now how the system counters. And, and I don't think Chris Carter is part of it because I was visited by Dean Haglund. We did the interview. He said a lot. He said even more outside of the interview. Of course, he was in the X-Files and the Lone Gunman uh, that Carter and others were approached by the CIA and given scripts, things they wanted in the script. Like the episode of the Lone Gunman six months before 9-11 that aired on Fox where the criminal group in the government hijacks a jumbo jet by remote control, a passenger plane, claims it's been hijacked by Al-Qaeda and flies it into the World Trade Center or tries to, to blame it on Afghanistan, kick off a giant war and bring tyranny to the rest of the West. Now, why was the CIA group warning so that be in a script so when it happened people would know it was an inside job that's one thing i was told a few years ago by a big producer famous producer he goes alex you don't know how many good people there are in hollywood that sneak stuff through you were all saying that was them revelation of the method throwing it in people's faces no things like that are put in there because no one at the tv level is paying attention to a conspiracy show even if it's popular and then it can come out and people are leaving breadcrumbs so you know it was staged and I said, oh, is that what you were told? He goes, no, that's my view, but that's how a lot of this is done. People leave clues when they're not able. You know, like you know, prisoners trying to uh, sneak each other notes. But regardless, they're going to mix aliens into it, but they deal with chemtrails, geoengineering, world government, carbon taxes, and plantable microchips. And I want to say something right now. It is alien technology. Uh, some newspapers, left-wing groups, Soros-connected organizations came out and said Alex Jones believes in aliens and thinks aliens run the conspiracy. No. I purposely never got into aliens, unless Buzz Aldrin's on talking about it, because I don't want to be put into the stuff you can't prove one way or another. I can prove the emergency centers. I can prove the checkpoints. I can prove the plan to sign us on the derivatives and bankrupt us. I can prove the open borders, and people still are in denial about that. What I said is, with these new genetically engineered chimeras that are part human, part animal, that were in MIT magazine yesterday, that they admit they've been doing for decades, they've created new creatures that are alien to this world. There's never been a splice between an insect and a human or an, or an insect, an arachnid and a goat or a jellyfish and a rhesus monkey. The zoological viruses and bacteria and microplasms that mutate out of this are incredibly dangerous. There's the headline, human-animal chimeras are gestating on U.S. research farms. Then they harvest the organs out of the humanoids they grow that are part animal so they're not rejected. Now, this has been going on for 30 years, they admit, but now they're rolling it out. And I said the elite believe they're a new species of inbred psychopaths who are going to merge with machines and become a new species. Google, Ray Kurzweil, Bill Joy, all of them. Some good, some bad. That's an attempt to build a breakaway civilization, and what humans envision, they've usually done. They're making aliens. AI computers that are truly artificially intelligent and, and conscious will be a new species on this planet. It will be alien, not of this world. Do you understand what that means, Media Matters and Right Wing Watch in the White House? Of course you do. And you think if you go along with it all, you're going to be given the life extension technology. Talk about discrimination. Talk about jerks. I don't want to fight with black people and, and women. I want the life extension for everybody. The population gets too big, off-world colonies. I want the technology. I want the medicine. I want the innovations. I want them now. Humans developed it. Our ancestors built it. It doesn't belong to you. You got us fighting over the word mom and dad while you're stealing the whole future from us, you pieces of crap. Excuse me. Excuse me. I get so frustrated by the idiots out there that have been taught to fight over mindless crud and the jihadis running around. When they're done radicalizing the Muslims and getting them to run around and burn down half of Europe, they're going to release a really specific bioweapon to wipe out almost every Arab on Earth. And I'm not for that, by the way, even though they're trying to hype them up to be my enemy.
because I see the whole game. And if you don't know about that, look at the PNAC document, 2000, Dick Cheney, talks about the le legitimizing the use of race-specific bioweapons. The Austin American Statesman reported on it. I can see the whole plan from start to finish because it's a well-worked plan. I've been studying it. I've read their white papers. It's pretty much public. They just don't say the last one half of 1%. But then they even say that. They've told us the whole battle plan. They've told their elites that it is a cosmology. And yes, for all intents and purposes, they're aliens. They didn't come from a distant star. They are a guild of twisted humans of every race, color, and creed, bound by hatred of humanity and greed and hate, wanting everything for themselves. They are the enemy. They're not fans of humanity. They don't like you doing well. They want you out of their way. They want to steal the future. They want to steal the brain trust. They want to become gods. They must be stopped. We are living in a science fiction movie, ladies and gentlemen. You're here. It's 2016. It's going on. Robots that replace humans in combat, manufacturing, everything. And the first waves are all friendly and nice to get you to buy into it. It's admitted they're doing that. Deeper into this, you will lose your humanity. And so many people are serving this because they're cowardly, they're scared, and they think if they go along with it, they're going to be okay. No. This road ends in rack and ruin. Another GOP debate is upon us. When you had the World Trade Center go, people were put into planes that were friends, family, and they were sent back. They knew what was going on. They went home and they wanted to watch their boyfriends on television. Who else would come back like that at the Bushes and the Clintons calling them criminals? And this the Saudis. Is crazy. Guys, go back to your live feeds. You see, we don't have rights in America. Only the people who are outside of this country have a right. The only right that anybody has is to come live in America, mm -hmm. presumably to live off of us if that's what they choose. They can come live off of us. They can come uh, create war in our country. That's their right. But people in America don't have rights. The first and most important priority of the president of the United States is to protect the safety and security of America. No, it isn't. As someone who You're disqualified. Done, you have an oath to the Constitution, and the oath to the Constitution says, and the Declaration of Independence says, you are created to protect our freedoms. Right. Not to keep us safe. They didn't want safety. They wouldn't have rebelled against the strongest government in the world if their first priority was safety. Their first priority was liberty. They created a government to protect that. I'm sick of these people. If we want to defend the country, we have to defend against who's are coming in. And Marco is, has more of an allegiance to Chuck Schumer and to the liberals than he does to conservative policy. Do you really think that Republicans have fueled the rise of ISIS? <laughs> Uh, I think yeah, that's where's she been? Who is she? The allies of <laughs> ISIS, the Islamic what? rebels against doing? Assad, <laughs> that we created a safe space bimbo? or made that space bigger for <laughs> ISIS to grow. Uh, we know what's going on. We know these guys are running ISIS. And when they talk about shutting down freedom of speech, he just repeated the exact same stuff he said in his speech. Even talking about how you don't refer to these people as masterminds, he knows precisely what he's saying. These are a bunch of Morlocks, and the American people are a bunch of Eloy. When they talk about serving America, you're on the menu. Join InfoWars January 14th, starting at 7 p.m. Central for another episode of Political Science Theater 3K. Again, ladies and gentlemen, you can get six months free at PrisonPlanet.tv, but only for one more week. Next Monday, the special that only comes around once a year ends. In fact, we've never offered six months free before, but I really want to get more people to join and to be able to watch the nightly news, to see the live reports we do, the special reports, all my films, ebooks, and so much more. One person can share their membership with 20 people, and you are funding the absolute very leading edge, the vanguard of the resistance to the globalist operation on every front. We have to have our own platform that is harder for them to censor, harder for the system to shut down. PrisonPlanet.tv. We put out the daily radio show free with the video and audio feeds at Infowars.com forward slash show. But it is the members that get the nightly news exclusively and first and the commercial free video podcasts and audio podcasts that are paying it forward and financing and helping so many other people see the truth when we put the videos on Facebook, YouTube, and it's PrisonPlanet.tv that finances so much of the cameras, the equipment, the crew.
the reporters. You are becoming a PrisonPlanet.tv member. You get exclusive HD, higher quality, get it first, and then you can download it, share it with friends and family, share your passcode with them, your username. It's a win-win, and then you're helping finance to put it out for free to everybody. PrisonPlanet.tv.